I'm on my way to pick up my keys for the new place. <laughs> I don't know why I'm vlogging it, but there's so many people. I got my keys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, I also have missing to guts a lot. It's because I have no guts to pick up my keys by myself. Here I am. Anyway, hi internet world, it's back with me, Kenesha, and yeah, I don't think I've vlogged in a while, and it's mostly because of a lot of reasons, like there's a lot of admin stuff going on behind the scenes, there's a lot of um, marking strikes related uh, things that uh, would not allow me to be where I am right now, and I'm really glad it all got resolved and I'm just waiting for another announcement for my visa so I could go to my master's program. I'm not gonna lie, till this day, even I'm sitting in this apartment, um, I still can't believe that I am going to be living in London for the next year. Going to a university in London to go do my postgraduate degree. Was I thinking about this a year ago? No. A year ago, I was like, I'm gonna work in London. Like, that is my goal. My goal is to work in London. The goal is to be a creative in London. Um, hopefully, in the very near future, I get to do what I love, which is creating videos or creating stories. And, you know, as long as I'm in a creative space and I get to grow as a creator and as a creative person, I think that's good enough for me right now you know as a 21 year old turning 22 listening to guts and bewitched all the time i think olivia rodrigo is going to announce her tour you her worldwide uk tour today and i just got tickets to lebe sorry the tube station before going to this place and i don't know like i feel like i go to concerts too much and it's a problem actually no um I'm not going to concerts too much. I'm just watching my favorite artists going forward because um, I'm going to Gracie, Macy, and then Leve. Hopefully, I can get I can score tickets to Olivia when this general sale is going on or the pre-sale. I don't know. Take my money. Just take my money at this point. And I am going to the Terrace of Eras tour next year with my best friends. And that is so crazy. Like that's gonna happen like this whole year. Oh my god. It's not even like the musicals yet, or... Okay, this is... this is bad, like... They're... London's already taking my money before I even start living here. Reflecting back on my first month in London, I would consider myself pretty lucky because I've always wanted to live in London. I've kind of knew where everything was because I visited London so much. I have friends. <laughs> no! Why did she say like that? She's just asked for 0 0.5. <laughs> she doesn't even like me even having pictures. <laughs> Two are considering living in London and we meet up to celebrate birthdays. I made friends on my course. I was getting to know my flatmate. My best friend is here as we're going to our postgraduate journeys. I was pretty lucky in that department because that would mean I have a solid friendship system, support system, and it was all fun. I get to go to galleries. I get to have good food. It was amazing. I have endless opportunity to be grateful about this experience. Watch it. Um, I guess uh, I just want to acknowledge um, that the actors can't be here tonight, which is very sad, and they, want, they definitely send their love, and they feel very passionate about this. Um, this is a, a real labour of passion, and um, 
definitely looks at um, just reminding us of what is precious in our lives and to honour that. I promised myself when I managed to get into my master's program in London, I would get Gracie Abrams tickets. Thankfully, there's a resale for the last day that she's going to be in London. And on that concert, I met the two loveliest girls. And we went to another concert the day after for Nikki. And I would say it was one of the best times of my life. Um, during this first month living in London. Do you know the phrase, forgive and forget, and just move on? Kinda wanna touch upon reaching out for familiarity. Sometimes it's good to reach out for familiarity. It's safe. It's where your bubble is. But it also reminds you that sometimes reaching out for that familiarity, even though you've moved on and have done other things that will make you happy, Sometimes it's fun. It's fine. Going back to a place that you grew up in, essentially for your early years of adulthood, has that effect on you. Lisa will always have a place in my heart. I guess this chapter has come to a close for me and that's okay.